So guys, I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video and today guys, I bring you 7 things, 7 secrets, 7 additions you need to know about since the latest 1.61 patch. How's it going guys? My name's DPGN. If you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so since the latest patch of the 1.61, a few things have been added, a few order additions have been re-added, a few fixes have been implemented. So today we go through them um, all. Okay, so to start we have the legendary variant of the chef's knife. Okay, so to get this legendary it's pretty simple. All you need to do is head to this vendor within a Westbrook in Japan town. News fast travel here is the Cherry Blossom Market. So come here guys and grab this weapon. Next up people we have the Amnesty Revolver. Now this weapon you will need to have completed Panem's questline and it is received upon you asking for Panem's help upon the final mission of Nocturne OP 55 M1. After clearing out Hanukkah's dialogue within the first part of this mission, you know the usual shit, you eventually uh, get to that rooftop after chatting with Misty. You know where you have that discussion with Johnny Silverhand. Here when prompt you need to ask for Panem's help. This will then lead you to waiting for Panem with Misty and then you falling unconscious and waking up at Panem's camp. And from here guys there's a few things you have to do. You need to go and talk to Saul and Panem at that table and clear all dialogue here guys. And then from here guys you got the option on screen to talk to Mitch and a few other NPCs. But the main one here guys to push forward with getting this weapon is to get in the tub to go and speak to or go and see Oat. This is done by obviously going to see the Kota. Upon doing this guys you'll then have to go and talk to Sol. This is basically when you become an Alticada. And you can see here on the left hand side of the screen guys, this guy here, this NPC is Cassidy. This is the guy who you get this gun off. So just after this part guys, you basically are prompt to uh, talk to Panam talk to the nomads which is optional or join Panem when you are ready this is where you go and speak to Cassidy but before we do this guys you want to go ahead and make a manual save just in case you mess this up because as far as I remember you only have one shot at doing this let's go ahead and talk to Cassidy and complete his challenge where he wants you to shoot those bottles this can be a little difficult uh, but you can always use that sandy vista to help you out if you are struggling here What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Fine shooting, kid. Now, once you do this, you will be rewarded this uh, revolver. Now, I know a lot of people will say this has always been available, but since the latest 1.61 patch, they fixed the issue where people could not craft the legendary version. Well, now you can, guys. So, yes, go get this thing and enjoy it. Okay, so next up, people, we have the heat resistant armored weave fixer shirt. It has a new location, as I believe the original one after the 1.2 patch wasn't there anymore for some people. 
but now is available to all players, including those non streaked players. Now, I'm not sure what actually happened originally here because I had a big chunk away from this game, but in saying that, it was there initially for me, but I was a streaked player. Either way, it's here for all now. And where you want to come to, you guys, is where I am at on the map right here. Now, there are a couple of fast travel points around this spot, but I won't bore you running for 10 minutes locating this body. Just come to this point on the map, guys, and grab this thing, and you are good. Next up guys, we have two iconic knives which were bugged out for some people, me included. I believe the issue was if you had visited either of these vendors before these uh, iconic weapons were added to said vendors, their weapons most of the time wouldn't show up for you to purchase. Now this was definitely the case for me, but either way, they are fixed now and the two vendors you can see on screen now, one having the head hunter for sale and the other one having the blue fang for sale. Wondering what you've got on hand. Next up, guys, we have a vendor which is selling certain clothing items, I believe, were previously taken out of the game. The Rocker Boy, to name a few. Now, these items ain't guaranteed here every single time, so to simply reset the vendor's stock and reroll certain gear, simply skip time by 24 hours. There are some real great clothing options for you guys here, some rare stuff too. So be sure to head over here guys and take a look. Oh, so this is a good time for you then? And lastly people, we have the sin resistant pants. These complete the bitch version 1.3. And well, after I believe the 1.4 or 1.5 patch, these were really hard to come by. But now it seems since the latest patch or maybe even the one before, you can get these quite easily 
at this Venn diagram a rail. So if this was of interest of you or previously was and you're struggling to find them, I hope this helps you out. And there we have it guys, seven things you need to know, seven new additions, seven secrets with the 1.61 patch within Cyberpunk 2077. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.